We are here to live out a dream and to fulfill a promise made to you, the players of EVE Online, at the end of last year. This is the site where we, together, will take our first steps into space. This is the very ground where history will take place. My name is Salda Thakson and I am a student liaison between the students and the company CCP Games in this project. Uh, we are 11 students in this class and uh, we decided to take on this project about sending something via a high altitude balloon to space, uh, approximately 35 km height. The project involved taking a spaceship model from the game EM Online and taking video footage of that. We have launched two other flights, one test flight and one partially successful flight. And we plan on finish this in May with, and we are flight ready and are just waiting for a launch window uh, soon. No, 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 don't be afraid, it's just me. We are here with Toppy, who you may know as the Dust Soldier from FanFest, but he also makes props for us. That is, when he's not working on other smaller projects like uh, Game of Thrones or Tom Cruise's Oblivion. Hi, I'm Toppy. I'm CCP's next door neighbor. Occasionally they come around and ask me to do stuff for them, like this pot over here. And the tricky bit, making this pot, is that it had to be very light and look good at the same time. So, we started out making a, a one-off from Styrofoam. And then we made a mold, silicone mold. And we had to cast very thin shells to make it very light. So we end up with a model weighing only just over two kilos. When we were first approached by CCP and asked to deliver a pod into space, we sat down and started thinking about what the main problems and hurdles were into getting it there. Our primary concern would be the weight of the craft and all the ancillary equipment of the payload and also the cold that we would experience at this extreme altitude. Uh, to deliver this into the stratosphere, we used a 3000 gram latex balloon, which is mostly used for weather observations. The latex balloon we filled with helium, approximately 10 cubic meters. Our first flight consisted only of ballast weight to simulate the final weight of the main flight. We also included a tracker to know where it was going. This first flight was thought mainly to verify the accuracy of our trajectory model and to verify our, our assumptions. Our estimations predicted that the flight would last around two hours and land in the middle of the Icelandic highlands. However, due to the insufficient lift to weight ratio, the flight lasted five and a half hours and landed in the Atlantic midway between the Iceland and the Faroe Islands. Our second flight was a full-scale launch. It included all the equipment that we had planned to use, which include three independent GPS trackers, three GoPro HD cameras to film the payload and the balloon during the flight, and a mobile phone for the live video feed during the flight. To fix the problem of insufficient lift to weight ratio, we simply added more gas. This time around, the actual flight trajectory was almost identical to the projected trajectory. After flying for roughly two hours, traveling to an altitude of 34 kilometers and a distance of over 160 kilometers, it landed just within one kilometer of the projected landing site. So when the pot comes down again, it can land pretty much anywhere in Iceland, but whether it lands on land, sea, or on a glacier, uh, we are gonna find it with the help of the Icelandic Coast Guard, who were kind enough to fit us into their scheduled uh, search and rescue exercises. All we are waiting for now are the perfect weather conditions for the launch, which will be broadcast live here from CCP and all the way up to 100,000 feet. Go here to register and we will notify you in time before the launch happens.